I'm Roach, and I am playing Pinocchio. My name is Alexis Dash, and I'm playing the dragon. My name is Aiden Rich, and I'm playing the part of Shrek. My name is Kyle Parisi, and I play Lord Farquaad. My name is Megan Fox, and I play Princess Fiona. I'm Daniela Kaplan, and I am playing Gingy in Shrek. The story behind Shrek is this ogre who's trying to get his swamp bag from Lord Farquaad. What he does is he goes to Lord Farquaad's castle to see if he can get everybody out of his swamp, which then leads him to meet Donkey, his best friend, and the two go on a wild uh, adventure which involves them rescuing a princess and eventually falling in love with said princess and sort of going into all sorts of crazy hijinks from that point on. The score can be really like, at one point it sounds very serious and sad and the next minute it'll just shift tones completely and seeing people like act through that too, it's just hilarious, I love it. <laughs> My favorite part of the show is the song Freak Flag. There's a song where they're competing of who has the worst life I think I got you beat. My favorite part of the show is the song Who I'd Be. Music rehearsals, I would say, just because I love to sing and I love singing with my friends and I think it's so awesome to hear um, everyone showcase their voices in their characters. You're getting your whole body experience with your character when you go off and dance. You mentioned the dragon. I think that that's going to be probably that's going to be one of the more interesting scenes, just because of the fact that we have to somehow translate the fact that we're dealing with a giant, dangerous dragon into what we can manage to do with a high school production. By far, the dragon. It is so big. It's a giant puppet. And I've been in this show before, and it was just amazing. But I'm expecting like even better this time. I'm really excited for the nose, cause like. Press a button and it'll go whoop. That's really cool to me. I love the gingy element. I am so excited to carry around a little puppet in a tray. It's going to be very challenging to do the dances with that, but I think it'll be so fun and so it so adds to the show. My favorite is the dragon puppet because it brings my character to another level. Yeah, I'm a comedic actor and my character is comedic. My acting style is, is very emotional and very sort of method, as they would say. I really like to get into the character and sort of like do, do as much as I can to embody the kind of character, which works really well for Lord Farquaad because he's a very sort of flamboyant, almost like girly kind of character. My acting style is usually very enthusiastic and fun and very character-y, I guess you could say. So I feel like Jinji helps me showcase that, and I've never really played a role where I get to um, do a voice that isn't really like mine, so I feel like this is pretty um, awesome. Theater is important to the BHS community because it takes a really like great group of people to come together and put on a show for everyone. It's like a very rare thing that only happens at certain schools. I think I can speak for anyone who's like seen a show that's really like struck a chord with them. Like it affects people and it makes people really just feel emotion all together. Like it's something that kind of bonds a community. For theater there's just so many people who take part in it. Um, and if they don't take part then they all hear about it. Everybody hears about the musical. It's like a livelihood. Like everyone should have something they want to do in the school and there's people like me and all the people in the music guild, this is their thing. Like some people like might do sports, but this is our thing. It teaches people about music and life in a different style than maybe you learn in school and um, I guess you can't you can't always get that from classes and friendships and stuff, but when you see a show it's just like it's all real. Well theater has always been important to me just because of all of I'd say all of the friends that I've made out of it. The cast is super fun. We all have like ranging personalities from like some people, it's their first show, they're kind of a little scared and then they have the people who are like larger than life, so excited, just so fun. And all together we just make this really cool group that I don't think you can find anywhere else. I think this cast is super silly. Like they have a hard time being serious, but it's a comedic show so it's very good that they're all silly. The cast is, is just they're great. They're all great people. They're all, I've made really great friends with a lot of them. I feel very welcome and I hope everyone else feels very welcome there, that it's very like welcoming, very accepting environment for a lot of people to be in. We're not, we're not one person next to another person next to another person. We're just a bunch of people. 
why not? <laughs> um, it's going to be incredible. We have some amazing actors and actresses and singers, and it's, it's going to be amazing. This show is not like most shows that you'll normally see. Like Everybody knows Shrek, but not everybody knows Shrek the Musical. It's very lively, and it has a lot of bright, vivid elements to it, and um, costumes. We put a lot of work into it, so come see it. It's going to be a blast. It's going to be hilarious with some great people in it. But, so he seems like this really powerful, really strong figure, and then when you meet him, he is like, he's tiny, he's like four feet tall, and he's really prissy and girly and like the least threatening person ever, so there's a, an actually kind of hilarious disconnect between like the power that he holds and the, his actual personality. You almost wonder how he managed to get as far as he did with his sort of attitude and just his general mannerisms, and he's been a lot of fun to, to play around with, for sure. I see Jinji as this sweet, crazy, fun-loving, awesome cookie that, <laughs> you know, is obviously an outcast, but at the end of the day, um, he's just like all of us. My character is this super quirky princess that does not fit the mold of a princess. <laughs> She is the complete opposite. She tries to be in the mold, but like, she is not. Come see the show March 8th and 9th at 7 p.m. and March 10th at 2 p.m. Come see the show March 8th and 9th at 7 and the 10th at 2. Come see the show March 8th and 9th at 7 and the 10th at 2. Come see the show March 8th and 9th at 7 and 10th at 2. Come see the show March 8th and 9th at 7 and the 10th at 2.